we can choose our future. We can choose to have a world with peace, a world without disease, a world without want, a world without pollution and dead whales. We can start to become what we really are, which is a gardener not just of our garden here on Earth, the Eden that we were given, but a gardener of the galaxy. So it comes back to people taking personal responsibility for what they think, what they want to believe, and what it is that they want to create. Every one of us has a vote in terms of what happens in this time in the history of the world because the vote is a non-verbal vote made with our hearts. We now know that the human heart is directly tied, directly linked to the fields of the earth that literally regulate the systems of the weather and the climate and the temperature. And we feel certain ways in our body. Our heart fields literally are registered by satellites orbiting 200 miles above the earth. That's how much influence we have. This is what's happening now. We're starting to wake up and we have the opportunity now. It's a wonderful time to be alive because all these things are coming together in this point we call time where we have the opportunity to break out of this cycle of uh, mental and emotional imprisonment. We're being offered the key with knowledge, with understanding, with uh, uh, the gathering, opening, awareness and with the energy change that's underpinning that. It's now a time for us to decide if we're going to take the key and turn it. And I am privileged to be alive in the most important era in the history of the human race. We are witnessing the transition from the prison society to the, the paradise society, if you like, or the freedom society. And we can't see that right now. I mean, it, it, we can hint at it, we can feel, we can see that there is a tremendous change happening around us. But uh, the kinds of changes that are about to occur uh, they will be rather surprising to people. You will no longer work, no longer work to have to eat, to have to clothe yourself, to have to put a roof over your head. That will not be a part of our reality in the near future. We are no longer slaves to their systems. We will be contributing, nurturing our natural talents to our communities because we will have that want inside of ourselves we won't live under the energy of competition, of greed, of power, okay, of extreme egos. That will not be part of our existence. That will all be dissolved. That's what all the pain and suffering is that we're going through now, is dissolving that within each and every one of us. And then you will have free time to express yourself and just be, be you. All the technological devices we will be using will be either exactly in equilibrium with the harmonics of this planet or will be beneficial to the planet, will add. There will be nothing allowed to operate which will take any longer. Our evolution yes. is not an evolution of individuals. Uh -huh. Our evolution is an, individu is an evolution of community. Human beings, individual humans, each one of you, each one of us, is a cell in a larger community coming together to share awareness, to create one living organism and it would be called humanity. Okay. We are not humans until we create humanity. Uh -huh. When we create humanity, which is when we all recognize that we're all cells in the same living organism and work in a coherent fashion, we have then created the next level of evolution. Mm -hmm. And when humanity is complete, the earth as an organism mm -hmm completes its evolution. It's a living, breathing, pulsing Gaia. Uh -huh. It is now complete. When it is complete, what did when the cell completed its evolution, what was its next level of recourse? To hook up with other cells. Right. And when the human completed its evolution, what was it? To, to hook, hook up, up with, with other, other humans. humans. Right. When the Earth completes its evolution, uh -huh. we are then at the level of a unity with a voice of unity that allows us to speak as a one, which will allow us to speak uh, with other ones. Beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome.